Hi, this is Nate with Keysoft Solutions. Today I'm demonstrating some features of AutoStripe. Specifically, we're going to look at hatching today. So we've already laid out some lines. We have uh, some turn lanes, uh, some divided areas, and some islands that we need to divert traffic around. So first I'm going to go up to hatching, create a triangular hatching, and let's use the double edge offset. Let's insert that. So we want to start from the end of this uh, double center line there. We're going to split it around this island. So there's the first point, then there's the second point there. Calculate center line. Yes, that's that. And there we have it. If we want to make adjustments to it, it's a dynamic, it has grips, so any adjustment you make adjust the whole object. We can also uh, have a mask feature to mask out areas such as this stripe here that overlaps the island. So I want to create a, uh, a white hatch, triangular hatch for this other island with the turn lane. So let's go to triangular hatching again. Let's pick this one with the chevron. The first point I want to uh, find the, the middle point uh, in this area. So I'm going to uh, S split the road pick uh, either side two lanes so there's the center point. Now I want one side of the triangle to be there and the other side to be here. Calculate the center line, yes, and there we go. Another uh, dynamic object. Say we want the spacing a little closer. Uh, let's make the spacing of hatch lines three feet. There we go. Much closer together now. Uh, again, this is a dynamic object, so very adjustable.